All right. So ladies and gentlemen, in this example, what I want to do is I want to show you um, how can we prove, what they're asking us to do is prove that triangle L, M, N is congruent to triangle L, P, N. All right? So again, um, oh, was horrible. again, when we're doing this, what we need to do is take down a two-column proof and write down everything that we have been given. So I write this down into a statement and a reason. All right? Everything that we're going to state, we're going to provide a reason. Now, they were already giving you some of this information up here. So the information given is we could say line LM is congruent to line LP. Those are congruent lengths. Remember we talked about that in the beginning of class. They are congruent. Why are they congruent? Because that information is given to us. How is it given to us? They show us that these two lengths are equal in measure. What's the next thing, Jake? The next thing is we can say MN is congruent to angle PN. Why do we know that they're equal to a measure? Because again, you see you have two tick marks again, and that was provided to us in the image. But now what we're trying to do is determine, are these triangles equal to each other? Are they equal to each other? The only way we're going to be able to determine if they're equal to each other is the two different congruencies we've talked about, side, 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 or side, angle, side. So I need to look at this triangle and say, all right, well, remember our angle, the only time we could prove that angles were equal if that angle was what type of angle? Do you remember, Nick? What do we call that angle? What it had to be what? Rhymes with pinkluded. Rhymes with pinkluded. Included angle, right? Well, the only included angle between these two sides is here and here. I'm oh, sorry, they're not equal. Can, do you know, Nick, of any reason why those two angles would be exactly the same? That's like an absolute fact, truth, based on everything. But do, that's not going to prove that, the side, that those angles are equal right now. Just looking at those two angles, do you know for a fact that they are exactly equal? No. no. Now, so we can either try to prove that these two angles somehow are equal to each other, which is very difficult right now as where this triangle stands, or we can try to prove that this side is, this, is equal for both triangles. Now, Alex, is there any thinking that this side is the same for both triangles? Would you say it's the same side for both triangles? No? Wanna, so if I say triangle LMN, so that triangle, and the other triangle LNP, so this side, is that the same? It's the exact same side, right? Same measurement for both triangles. So therefore, you can say that LN is congruent to LN. It's the same exact side, so that has to be equal, right? You can't say something's exactly the same and then say they have different measurements. If it's the same line, it's the same line. Line, Terrell, you can sit over here if you need to. But that's what you're just supposed to write down. So now we have that was given. You want us to write this problem down? What are you supposed to be doing? I don't know. We're doing the problem. Right. So I'm going over the an example to help you out. Oh. So therefore, this is the same. Line. So now we can prove we have congruence by side, side, side. And there you go. That means my proof 